Hey folks, Bob Weil here in the True Tone Lounge. Got a brand new product for you that's going to help you out a lot with your pedal board setups. It's called the Milliamp Meter. It's a really simple little box right here that uh, you just take power from your power supply, a One Spot Pro in this case of course, plug it into the Milliamp Meter, take the cable that comes with the Milliamp Meter out of here, plug it into a pedal, like this Jekyll and Hyde for example, and there it is. 48 milliamps. I know exactly how many, how much current this pedal consumes and I don't have to worry about what, where I plug it in. Uh, it's that simple, it's that easy. In fact, there's a lot of other things that you can do with this. Well, first of all, one extra thing that we threw in with the, the milliamp meter is a cable checker. So let's say, you know, you've got your patch cables for your pedal board and you want to just be extra sure that they all work or let's say you, you're, you're in the middle of a gig and all of a sudden something goes out, you're fishing through your patch cables, you're not sure which one's bad, you just, just plug them in like this. The blue LED tells you that, oh, even if we wiggle it, yep, cable's good. You don't have to worry about it. Move on to the gig. Um, another thing that you can do with this is you can even take an entire daisy chain, like all of these pedals right here are on a single shared daisy chain, including the, uh, the tuner there. And uh, Hang on two seconds, there we go. Just plug in the daisy chain to the milliamp meter. Let me turn on a couple things just to give you a better example. And there you have it, about uh, 222 milliamps for this chain of effects. Another thing is uh, it solves the age old question that, that you all keep running into as far as, you know, okay, how, many, how much current do certain pedals uh, actually use? Well, how about a Strymon timeline, for example? I hear about this one quite a bit. If I plug that in, you know, you hear some people say, oh, it's 500 milliamps or 300 or whatever. Well, now we know it's actually, yeah, 212, 213 milliamps. So there you have that. Timeline mystery solved. Or here's one that we hear about a lot, line six pedals. Uh, let's take this M9. I'm gonna plug that in. Okay, it's jumping around a little bit. It's between 535 and 543 or so milliamps that this thing is actually using. Uh, it's jumping around just because of the electronics in here and the capacitors and all that. Um, but yeah, it uses over 500 milliamps, which is interesting because I'm using it on a 500 milliamp output, an output that's labeled 500 milliamps on this One Spot Pro CS7. Um, Cool thing about the One Spot Pro is if you've watched the other video that I did on, uh, on you know, does your pedal board really need a, a power supply like this, uh, is that the outputs on the One Spot Pros are labeled as one thing, but they can actually put out more than they're labeled. So if it's labeled as 200 milliamps, it can put out a lot more power than that, actually. If it's labeled as 500, it can put out quite a bit more than 500 even, too. We just have them labeled this way uh, because of certification reasons. We actually do spend the money and the time to get these power supplies properly certified and uh, so we have to abide by certification company rules but in reality they can put out a lot of juice more than they than they even say how about the uh, the venerable old line 6 DL4 what does this thing actually consume well looks like it's 151 milliamps now that brings up another interesting point uh, a number of companies in the music industry over the years have put labels on the back of their product or on the power supply that are simply the rating of the power supply and have really nothing to do with how much current the pedal actually consumes. Uh, in the case of this Line 6 DL4, it says here, um, power requirements, 9 volts AC, AC not DC, uh, 1200 milliamps minimum. Well, is that accurate? Uh, let's see. Let's see, I'm powering it with 9 volts DC, not AC, and it's 151 milliamps. So what's up with that? Why, why do they do that? Well, they, they do it for a simple reason. The, uh, when this came out many years ago, um, the only power supply that Line 6 had at the time was the one for the pod, which was 9 volts AC, if you read the label on the power supplies, 9 volts AC, 1200 milliamps. That's how much power uh, the power supply could put out maximum. Uh, but that's not really what this uses. I mean, in fact, it, it can take batteries. Batteries are DC voltage, not AC. That should be your first clue. 
Uh, and then secondly, uh, you know, the actual current draw is not anywhere near that 1200 milliamps that the power supply can put out maximum. It's, it's 151. So it's good to know the difference between, you know, what a power supply label says and what your pedals actually need. And the milliamp meter can, can really help you figure that out. Uh, it does only take DC. It, it can't take AC voltage. So if I took my one spot pro CS12 here and ran the, the AC output into it, it, it wouldn't work. You wouldn't kill it, but it wouldn't work either. So don't do that. Um, but you know, just to recap real quick on this, the, the nine volt AC output of the one spot pro CS12 can power a DL4, no problem. It can also power a line six M9 or with either of those pedals, just run it off a nine volt uh, 500 milliamp output on the CS12 or on the CS7. That works just as well because these things can put out a lot of juice if they need to. Why should you know what milliamps mean? Don't even worry about it. Just get one of these. It'll tell you what you need in, in reality. But also the thing to remember is that power supplies, they might have a label on it that says, you know, uh, like with a one spot, 1700 milliamps. Does that mean it's force feeding 1700 milliamps down the throat of your pedals? No, it's not. Each pedal just takes what it needs. And uh, think of it this way. If you're sitting at a, you know, a big dinner table with a Christmas dinner on it, it's a full on feast for like 12 people. Uh, you're only gonna take what you need from that feast. You're not gonna have to eat all of it. Same thing with the pedals. The pedals are basically you in that analogy. They're only gonna take what they need. The power supply is the table full of food. That's how much it can provide if it needs to, at the most, for 12 people. But if it only needs to give out, you know, 40-something milliamps for this one pedal, it's happy doing that too. It's not gonna force it down your throat. If you have any questions, feel free to contact our support. We've got great support. We'll answer, actually answer the phone, as long as it's not a weekend. And uh, we're here for you. So uh, again, from True Tone uh, to you, check out the milliamp meter. It's gonna help you a lot. Thanks for watching.